Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive JT. I've got a must have blind spot mirror mod that I'm going to add, or an accessory really, that I'm going to add to the Toyota Tundra. With a truck as big as this thing is, you got to have these. But before we get into that, I got a final notice letter. I wanted to read to you guys real quick because you're going to get this too. You get it every time you buy a new vehicle, and I've gotten one for my new 2024 Toyota Tundra. Okay, let's take a look at this letter first. And the first thing I want to say is it doesn't show any company names, who this is from. Nothing on the letter itself. So what is this? It says, final notice. And up here it says regarding 2024 Toyota. Well, the only Toyota that I have that's a 2024 is this one, the Tundra I just bought. So they're assuming that maybe you only buy one vehicle once in a while, like most normal people, and you're going to just assume it's for that vehicle and you're going to think it's relevant, right? It says, response to this notice requested, please call with your VIN number and current mileage before, and they give you a date, in this case, 10-9. They don't even know your VIN number, nor do they know the model that you're driving. So that ought to be a kicker right away that this is not real. It's a solicitation, and that's what it is. It says, our records indicate that you have not contacted us regarding the vehicle service contract on your vehicle. Well, of course not. I don't have a vehicle service contract. I have factory warranty. I just bought this thing. I mean, it's got three years, 36,000 miles. It says you are receiving this notice because your factory warranty has expired or may be about to expire. How is that possible? I just got this truck. They're trying to cause panic because a lot of people when they see this, they'll assume it's from Toyota. And they're going to be like, well, wait a minute. How can my factory warranty be expiring when I just bought the truck? So they're going to call immediately to figure out what's going on. And that's when the opportunity for these people open up to try to sell you something. It goes on to say, by neglecting to activate your coverage, you will be at risk of being financially liable for any and all repairs after your factory warranty expires. You see, they cover themselves legally there because they do say after your factory warranty expires, even though previously they say it has expired or may be about to expire. Yeah, in three years, I mean, you know. However, you still may have time left to activate uh, coverage on your vehicle before it's too late. Final acceptance is subject to your ability to meet eligibility requirements. In other words, give them a credit card so you can pay for whatever this is. Which, by the way, it doesn't state anywhere what this costs. Who knows? We reserve the right to revoke your eligibility for service coverage if you do not meet our criteria. Call within five days to ensure eligibility. So they're trying to put the pressure on you. They're trying to make you feel special, saying that they can reduce this or revoke it if you're not eligible. Well, of course I'm eligible. Why wouldn't I be eligible? And then they give some cat named Richard Thomas, who knows who that is, project coordinator, hours and all that stuff. So beware, if you get something like this, it's a solicitation, it's garbage. And that's exactly where it's going to go in the garbage. All right, let's get to something that's uh, relevant. And that is this blind spot mirror. Where these go are on the mirrors on your truck. And before you put these on, you wanna go ahead and clean off the surface of the mirror you're gonna stick them to because they are just double-sided taped on. And I really like that because if you wanna take them off, you can do that. Just take a razor blade or something behind them Razor blade won't hurt your mirror unless you really go nuts, right? And just kind of scrape the adhesive and pull them off. Very simple, very cheap too. There will be a link down below if you want to check these things out. But for me, first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and clean those mirrors off. As I mentioned, you have to do that uh, so that you get the best opportunity for adhesion. I just use my little personally concocted... Uh, formula here. It's just about six or eight drops of dishwashing detergent, the kind that does not include anything that will uh, eat through window tent or anything like ammonia. 
spray it on clean them off you get it this is pretty simple I mean everybody knows how to clean off mirrors right so I'm gonna do this to both sides and then we'll come back and get those stuck on and then I'll show you what the her real purpose is and they are definitely a must-have with a truck this size or any truck really in my opinion all right got the mirrors all cleaned off let's go ahead and cut these out they're uh, like hermetically sealed I think is that how you pronounce that hermetically 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 I don't know be very careful with these I will tell you if you drop this on the floor it will shatter I've done it I know so you've got kind of a two-part system here you've got the backing plate if you will and then the mirror itself uh, what I usually do, these are designed so you could stick the whole thing on the mirror if you want, but I found that doesn't show me what I really want. I kind of want to be able to move things around a little bit, and it comes with this swivel base. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and clean this off with a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol. Again, I want the best opportunity for adhesion. Grab a rag here just so that the sticky stuff sticks well, right? And rubbing alcohol is the best thing to clean this kind of stuff off with, I think. I'm sure there's other adhesive promoting agents you can use out there, but I prefer rubbing alcohol. None of this is rocket science, really, right? So I'll just clean that off, make sure you don't have any lint left on it. And then the mirror itself, you want to go ahead and pull the inner piece of adhesive on this version just like so right again don't drop this thing you'll regret it and then just go ahead and stick the mirror on the back of it or the holder I should say hold that down for a couple minutes with light pressure I just uh, kind of stick it on my shirt here uh, just to hold it down so that I don't break that mirror by pushing it down on a hard surface like the counter here right okay next up of course you want to remove the cover helps to have something sharp there we go I guess I have enough fingernail to do that now we're gonna go ahead and stick it on the mirror where you put it is kind of up to you uh, I prefer putting it on the inside here you could put it on the outside but I just like it in this area so I'm gonna go with that somewhere probably right in there and it's going to stick rather quickly so you're not going to have a big opportunity to readjust once you put this on it's going to be on hold it on there eh, general rule about 30 seconds or so and uh, you should have good adhesion i'll go over and do the other side and then i'll show you what the real purpose of it is okay i've got it on as you can see and i've kind of tried to adjust it uh, so that I think it's going to show me the, the line of sight that I want down the side of the truck. But let's go hop in the driver's side and uh, we'll see if I actually have it in there the way that I want it to be. So let's climb in here. And obviously they don't really show too much. I mean, it's not something that's really going to stick out like crazy, right? So we're in the truck. And I'm going to try to show you guys, I may have to zoom in a little bit, I'm not sure. But what I'm doing, if I'm sitting in the seat like I am right now, I'll show you the long view. You can see the mirror right over there. And it shows me down the side of the truck, particularly how close I am to that wall over there, in this case. Or that bucket you might be able to see maybe in the mirror. Uh, through the mirror and no matter what I do even if I try to go all the way up I guess if I hit my head on the ceiling and take my seat belt off I can almost see the bottom of the tire in the big mirror now take a look at the big mirror this is what you see which is like from almost the top of the fender well there to the back of the bed but you can't see where that tire is however in the mirror I just added you can see where the tire is the purpose, obviously, is not to run over anything you don't want, scrape up your tires, scrape up your wheels, who knows? Maybe if it's tall enough, even scrape up your side steps like you can see right there in that mirror. 
Now, if we look at the other side, and I've got the camera so I can hopefully show you guys what I'm looking at. I don't know distance-wise if you'll be able to see, but the mirror that's right over there does the same thing. It shows me a picture, a view, down the side of the truck all the way back to that wheel. That way I can see when I'm pulling up against something whether or not I'm going to hit anything. These things for the money, you can't beat it. It's one of the most useful mods and you will use these all the time if you're pulling into drive throughs or parking spaces or even checking to see if there's anything around your truck when you're pulling out. Again, this is a giant truck and it comes in very handy. So there you have it. Just a, a simple little mod, something that I think is a must have in the Toyota Tundra or really any big or medium sized truck. They just come in very handy. It saved me many times from scraping my wheels and tires against like those curbs at the drive through Leave a comment. Let me know if you've used these or if you see any value in it at all. I'd just be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.